Hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or would like me to cover something in greater depth or cover something I have not, please put it into the comments. Today I'm going to be covering users, groups, and sections and how to apply access or access controls with those. Let's begin. The first area to cover is sections. And sections, this is where we have created particular VLANs, devices, subnets, and in my previous videos, you would see this as we would go in here and we'd go to company, and we have my company, and you have all of these items that we created. So, in this level, right, permissions are granted. If a group is not set in permissions, then it will not have access to the subnets inside of here. Uh, groups with read-only permissions will not be able to create new subnets. Subnet permissions must be set separately. By default, if a group has access to a section, it will have this, it will have the same permissions on subnets. Also, you can choose to delegate section permissions to all underlying subnets. And if a group does not have access to a section, it will not be able to access subnets, even if subnet permissions are set. So what does that mean? Our default groups are guests, operators, as you can see, I've left it all there. And then I've created in my company these guys. So if we go in here with the little box, I created these already in the groups over here. And I've given already, and I granted them uh, read write access for this one, read write, read only, and no access. Now, to give you an idea, I could also grant this one in the IP6 section, read write, and administrator, read write, and read only. And you see the delegate button that was mentioned from over here. Basically, that propagates to all the subnets underneath here, as it does for here and for here. So if we look at groups, we have the defaults, which are these three, and you can see we already have some users in here, And but this is a default group, and anybody who's made an administrator, they're automatically populated in here. But what does this all mean? So if we go down to these groups down here, you see we can add them. We can actually add users to this group. So that means we should go probably look at users. And I have a specific user that we can look at. This user's a normal user. And what I'm getting at here is a user role de determines if groups and module permissions, because if their role is as an administrator, they have all those rights. So if we have a normal user, they are then added to groups. Now, if I had the read write admin in the previous scene, and if I grant it like this, you, we can take a look then at what that means. The next piece is our modules, right? So modules are on the side over here down below, but we can assign the VLAN, you know, read access, and each one of these, if it's no access, then they have nothing, no access to this module. If it's read, write, and admin. And basically, that's pretty straightforward. Um, if we grant them admin, they can edit circuits. If we give them write, they can add circuits. And if they can read, they can only see the circuits. And let's take a look at this. So, Let's go back to our sections, and we made our user um, 
an admin with PHP over here. And what I'm going to do now is create an incognito window. X Miller and in here right if I go to our subnets you see I see the three the everything except IP6 so let me bring this over here right so this section this section this section but I only see these two and the customers one I made myself an admin or the X Miller and admin. And as you can see, they have rights in here. They can actually edit and put things in here. But we made them on the other side, right? The My company, he's only got a certain type of role, right? What was that role we gave him? So if we go over here, right, we, he's read only. So if we go back and we look at it over here at my company, and if we try to, he can add a description, but can he delete? Right? So if we go down here, they have, but why is he getting these rights, right? He can actually edit, but well, this is where it gets tricky, right? See, we made him a P8 read, write, and the other. So oops. let's see if we can figure out what I did wrong there. So in here, in sections, what happened is, this is enabled, but these are not. And here, right, it's admin over here, too. So if I do that, so they have no access. Or, sorry, that's not, that wouldn't be correct. We want them to have read-only access, which technically matches with this one. So we want them to see over here but he's an admin over here in this section, customers. Let's see if that works. So I'm gonna refresh and I'm gonna to go to subnets and I'm gonna to go to company and see how this has changed. They, and it's now locked because I have read only access, right? So I can do a few things in here. I can add a few things I might be, I don't have very many rights in here, but I could, right? I can't can't do anything here. I can export IP addresses and whatnot. But if we go to customers, right? I still have rights to edit the subnet because I, you know, made my account an admin in the customers, but read only in company. And if you notice, I don't have the actual administration panel. So this is strictly a normal user and you we're granting rights between the sections, not elevating it. And if we look back here, right, if we go in here, it's read only. So if we go to read write, I suggest that you play with these and you know try to you know figure it out. There's the only way you're really going to get it is if you practice and play with it. But remember, rights are issued via sections, groups, and groups are use users to from over here. Oh, sorry, over here. And you grant them the different levels of rights to the different modules. And you should be able to get through that pretty well. So I want to say thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or would like me to cover something else in greater depth, uh, please don't hesitate to put it in the comments. 
Um, thank you for watching my video on users, groups, and sections with access control for PHP IPAM. Have a great day. Bye.